All right, guys, how y'all doing today? Figured I'd try to do something a little bit different than what I normally put on my channel. The video games, tech unboxings, tech reviews, stuff like that. Um, and um, review one of the flavors of the Polar, um, I guess they're calling them Mystical Creature Series. Um, and this kind of started about a year ago. Um, Polar, if you're not familiar, if you're not from the New England or Northeast area, Polar is a big soda company, particularly focusing on seltzers um, and, and different types of seltzer flavors. Um, kind of on the level of a LaCroix, you know, the skinny can ones. Um, real high-end seltzer, sparkling water. More seltzer than sparkling water. Um, and the Unicorn, and they did one about a year ago called Unicorn Kisses. They did it in a one liter bottle, and um, it, it became, it just blew up. Um, you can literally buy the one liter bottles on eBay for about 20 bucks a pop. Um, and they sold probably for about between 99 cents and, and like $1.29 for the one liter bottle. Um, so what they did, so what Polar did probably about a month or two ago, uh, about earlier in the, about a month or so ago, they announced that they are going to do a Mystical Creature series. Um, they brought back the Unicorn Kisses, which here's an empty can of it. Um, what they did this time around is they did it in what they call their Junior Seltzer line. So it's kind of a smaller 8 ounce type seltzer um, versus a 12 ounce can or the liter bottle they normally do. Um, I think it kind of did this for two reasons, to kind of push the smaller size. Um, because I had not really, I've only really seen the 8 ounce size like in promos or giveaways that they do at certain events around the New England area. Um, but um, Unicorn Kisses is one of the big, was one of the big ones they brought back. And honestly, I did drink it as you can see, it's an open can. I didn't really like it. I, I mean, I really love it. It's not bad. It kind of has a nice summer feel to it, the taste. Um, more watermelony, I guess I would say. Um, but not a bad one. But not horrible. Um, I also tried, the other ones in the line are, um, it's a mermaid one. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, a um, dragon one, which we haven't, I haven't tried yet. Um, and one of the other ones, the ones I'm going to look at right now, is the Yeti Mischief. And again, it's in the 8-ounce can, the Seltzer Junior line. And what's really cool is each one of them kind of has a story, and they're connecting it to, like, New England lore. Um, the um, Mermaid one was based on Cape Cod and Mystical Mermaids. And, and that one actually, kind of go back to the flavor, that one I really liked. It had kind of a cotton candy feel to it, and I really, even though I'm, like, almost, I'm 40 years old next month, I still love cotton candy. As you can see, I'm a big dude. Um, so, that had an interesting taste to it. So, the story for this one is, As winter days turn to dusk, the mischievous creature comes out to play. In newly fallen snow, as they begin to head home, they fervent, fervently transform the sparkle of the snow into possibly good seltzer interesting so let's pop this open let's see how this tastes again my first time trying it i'm um, having the fridge for about a day or so to get nice and cold so let's take a little whiff of it getting kind of a flowery smell to it i guess let's take a taste Kind of, kind of an apple-y taste. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is these seltzers are no sugar, no added colors, just straight up seltzer water and flavoring um, in them. So, zero calories, you know, it's basically regular sparkling water. Let's take our sip of it. Again, still not really having trouble getting the taste. Really good really really good it, it definitely tastes like that late fall winter period thing kind of going on um so not a bad little taste um get them while you can find them they 
when I was reading what Polar put out, I think there were only 10,000 found. I stocked up on every flavor. I think I spent like 30 bucks on these. They're about at Big Y, particularly the one here in Springfield on St. James. As of 6 o'clock last night, they still had some. And they're about $3 a six-pack, which that's really high for 8-ounce cans. But, again, they're going to be 20 30 bucks on eBay in about a week or two. So... Poke around. I recommend Big Y to check. I checked Stop and Shop. They did not have it. Kind of cool. And also, you know, if you live in New England, you live in Massachusetts like I do, supporting a good local company. Um, I can't say anything bad about Polar. Um, they're based in Worcester. Good folks. So, that is Yeti, Yeti Mischief. Very, very good. Highly recommend it. Give it a shot. Again, like my video share, like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day, folks.